the moment we have been waiting for is finally upon us. SpaceX has fully stacked the Starship once more, signaling that the craft is finally ready for its second test flight. However, the company still needs to satisfy the FAA before that can happen. Let's talk about this latest development and look at the clues that could point towards a launch date. Dreams can indeed become a reality. Just four months ago, SpaceX astounded skeptics when they successfully fired up the engines of the inaugural Starship, watching it gracefully soar into the sky. While this initial ascent encountered a few challenges, it can hardly be labelled a failure. In fact, the valuable data gathered during this bold test flight has proven instrumental for SpaceX. It has allowed them to make significant improvements and prepare the groundwork for future missions. Following the first flight, the SpaceX team has been tirelessly working, implementing more than 1,000 adjustments to the Starship. These changes have brought about significant improvements in various aspects, including thrust vector controls, staging protocols, liftoff procedures, and the flight termination system. Recently, a significant milestone was reached at SpaceX's expansive Starbase facility in South Texas. The team successfully executed a stacking procedure, placing Ship 25 on top of Booster 9, forming the tallest fully assembled stack ever witnessed. Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of SpaceX, couldn't hide his excitement and chose to share glimpses of this extraordinary accomplishment with the world through Twitter. What captivated observers was the speed at which the actual stacking process unfolded, commencing at 12.30pm and concluding at 2.30pm. However, it was the intricate settling and coupling procedure that truly underscored the complexities of this engineering marvel. The enormous chopsticks, which are the massive tower arms at the launch tower, showcase their indispensable role in ensuring the flawless alignment of Ship 25 with Booster 9. Starship represents a notable departure from SpaceX's earlier rockets, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which were assembled horizontally. In contrast, Starship adopts a vertical assembly approach, relying on this set of mechanical arms. These arms serve a dual purpose, not only facilitating assembly, but also playing a central role in SpaceX's ambitious vision of achieving rapid reusability. In contrast to traditional rockets that discard their first stage boosters, Starship, aided by the chopsticks, is ingeniously designed to capture and reuse the returning booster, thus revolutionizing the economics of space missions. The recent integration of Ship 25 with Booster 9 wasn't just a routine procedure, it represented a pivotal preparatory step for their upcoming launch. The fully assembled stack impressively towers at 400 feet, and when positioned on its orbital launch stand, it reaches an astonishing 480 feet. To put this in perspective, NASA's renowned moon rocket, the Saturn V, stood at 363 feet, making Starship surpass this record. Similarly, the Russian N1, the Soviet Union's response to the Saturn V, measured around 344 feet. The monumental size of Starship serves as both a testament to its ambitious goals and a demonstration of the cutting-edge advancements that SpaceX is ushering into aerospace engineering. In this iteration of the rocket, SpaceX has introduced a new hot stage, which is an integral part of their ongoing testing efforts aimed at refining the Starship system to perfection. Hot staging can be likened to a relay race, where one runner begins running before the other has come to a stop. In rocket terms, it means the engines of the second stage start firing while the engines of the first stage are still active. This continuous process propels the rocket upward without any interruption. Think of it like a car on a hill. If it stops, it might start rolling backward, but if it maintains its momentum, it can easily ascend the hill. Similarly, by employing hot staging, Starship ensures it doesn't lose any momentum as it soars into the sky. With traditional rockets, it's common to observe a noticeable gap between one stage's engines shutting down and the next one igniting. For instance, the Saturn V, a well-known example, had a brief pause between its stages. After the first stage completed its burn and was jettisoned, there was a short interval before the engines of the second stage fired up. During Starship's initial test flight, a different approach was taken. The engines were slowly ramped up, a process that took a relatively lengthy 10 seconds before the rocket left the ground. In comparison, the Saturn V's liftoff was quicker. Once its engines ignited, it would commence its ascent in about 7 to 8 seconds. While this difference may not seem substantial, in the world of rocketry, every second is crucial, especially when considering the forces and stresses exerted on the vehicle during launch. In the upcoming Starship test, SpaceX is striving to achieve a quicker liftoff, aligning more closely with the historical practices of rockets like the Saturn V and other renowned vehicles. Their objective is twofold. First, to reduce the potential wear and tear on the launch pad by expediting the launch process. Second, they intend to subject the hot stage to a series of rigorous tests to assess its capability to withstand the demanding stresses of real space travel. Notably, for this phase, a venting ring has been incorporated, elevating its importance as a focal point for SpaceX's dedicated engineering team. The upcoming launch window for this specific Starship, scheduled between September 8th and September 13th, is generating considerable excitement among both space enthusiasts and industry observers. However, 
Those who have been closely following SpaceX's journey understand the need for caution when it comes to timeline. Elon Musk is renowned for setting ambitious dates. While his optimism is inspiring and has propelled the company to achieve remarkable feats, it has also resulted in a series of revised launch dates in the past. A significant illustration of this was in the lead-up to the first Starship launch. Elon Musk frequently mentioned various launch dates, and this continuous alteration of plans left some individuals sceptical. This scepticism was particularly evident when Musk indicated a launch date of April 20th. To the surprise of many, SpaceX managed to achieve this seemingly ambitious goal, proving their ability to often match Musk's lofty objectives. However, it's crucial to understand that these delays typically do not result from overpromising. Instead, they underscore the challenging and unpredictable nature of space travel. Launching a massive rocket into space is a complex endeavor, and each adjustment in the schedule highlights just how intricate and demanding this undertaking can be. In addition to the technical challenges, SpaceX also faces oversight from the Federal Aviation Administration. The relationship between SpaceX and the FAA hasn't always been frictionless. SpaceX's rapid development approach sometimes conflicts with the FAA's meticulous and comprehensive regulations. This discord has led to SpaceX receiving fines on a few occasions. Given SpaceX's previous missteps and the FAA's unwavering focus on safety, it's possible that the agency will exercise extra caution and take additional time before granting the green light for the forthcoming Starship launch. The FAA prioritizes safety above all else, which is essential in the context of space exploration. Following the aftermath of the initial test, which resulted in substantial damage to the launch site and its surroundings, the FAA has concluded its investigation and issued SpaceX a list of 63 corrective actions that must be addressed for the company to secure a new license. Although SpaceX has already implemented most of the recommended changes outlined in the report, it remains uncertain whether the FAA will find these measures satisfactory to grant the green light for the upcoming launch. As of now, flight restrictions and notifications for residents in the Boca Chica area are pending confirmation. SpaceX is committed to keeping the local community informed, and part of its plan includes a well-organized evacuation procedure in case everything proceeds as expected. Assuming the launch site doesn't sustain significant damage after the second flight, we could witness the rapid progress of Ship 28 and Booster 10. These vehicles are already well advanced in their construction and testing phases. If circumstances align favorably, we might even witness another Starship flight later this year. What do you think? Is it reasonable to expect three Starship test flights in a year? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.